Hey guys, it's Matthew, and uh, today I guess I kind of decided to do something a little different. Uh, I wanted to make a video on how to play Clash of Clans, or it's called How to Clash. I guess that should show up on your screen. So I'm going to teach you some steps on how to play Clash of Clans. I hope it can hurt, uh, help you. Well, I don't really want to call them rules because... I don't like rules. Just like the tarantula, it's yeah, okay, whatever. Let's just get into the tips. Okay. Alright, so the first rule is do not rush your town hall. Now, this is something that a lot of people basically uh, miss whenever they first start Clash of Clans. Uh, basically, well, did I say, well, basically don't rush your town hall. But what that is, is, well, rushing your town hall is kind of weird. It's like, basically upgrading your town hall before you upgrade everything in your base or mostly everything mostly everything in your base you might not think this is a bad thing but it's actually a pretty bad thing when you uh, get up in the higher levels so uh, I mean here's how it goes first you start out you know you're all you're all good you're like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and then you realize that you know all that stuff up there, all the higher town halls, you know, they got cool stuff like hidden Teslas and Expos and, you know, Inferno Towers, and that's fine, you can like that. But you have to be patient with this game. And, uh, part of that is probably waiting a while before you can get to that point. So, because if you rush your town hall, it's not going to get you anywhere. Let me flash a little, uh, Clip. Uh, let me flash a little photo of what it looks like whenever, you know, you do rush your town hall. And this is a pretty exaggerated photo. Alright guys, so this is a picture of what, basically, an over-exaggerated version of a rushed town hall, or a rushed base looks like. So, uh, if you look there, it's got like, uh, you know, wing walls. Uh, this is a pretty over-exaggerated version of a town hall, but if, you, if you're not very careful, you will uh, get there. And also stuff like, uh, you know, the having, like, uh, iron walls at, you know, Town Hall 7 or 8 or, you know, even at 6. Because that's another important thing. You always got to upgrade your walls. Because if you don't, people going to be like, man, that guy looks pretty weak. But then if you have, you know, level 8 walls and, like, Dark Crystal, you know that. And uh, you will look at your basement, wow, that guy's pretty tough. That's just my philosophy on it. Trust me, I used to be that way. I used to be that way. I was. I had another account about a year ago. No, about maybe two years ago, where uh, basically like I don't know. I was really bad at it. It was in sixth grade. I had no idea how to play the game. I was at, like a town hall six, and uh, I'll probably just show a picture of it right on the screen right there. Cause the, the account's still up. But anyways, yeah, as you can see, there's like iron walls there, and it's a really bad base layout. But, so, I'm going to give you some advice. Uh, don't rush your town hall. Uh, how not to do that, basically. Upgrade your defenses, and upgrade your walls, and upgrade, you know, everything else. Before you upgrade your town hall. That's basically what you got to do to be good at the game, or else you're not going to get all the stuff that you want. Because if you do rush your town hall, then in the end, you're not going to be able to buy anything. You're not going to be able to get the Inferno Towers. And then if you do, your base is still going to suck because people are going to be able to raid you like crazy and kill you. And you're going to be in like Bronze League and Town Hall 10. That'd be embarrassing. Alright. It's really hard to recover from too. If you think, you know, I could just do that and then recover from it. You cannot do that. There is, it's so hard to recover from it. I don't even know if there's a way to recover from it. But, uh, yeah, let's just get to the next one. I've been on this one pretty long. Alright, guys, so this one's a pretty, pretty brief one. Uh, basically, basically, this is, uh, not to jam your base. This is number two. Don't jam your base. Uh, that's pretty important. Uh, basically, jamming your base is, uh, whenever you start out, uh, you get pretty excited, so you use up all your gems. Don't do that. <laughs> that's a bad idea. Uh, because if you do that, you're gonna waste all your gems, and then eventually, you're gonna want to have to buy, uh, new builder sets other than just have two because you can't have just two in the future you gotta have more than just two right now I have four so don't spend all your gems in the beginning because later I don't you know you don't want to have to buy them 
with real money because they're like five bucks if I don't do that it's a bad idea uh, what else you could do you could also do something called I've, I've come up with called called the called gem farming gem farming is basically where you know it's like first you wait for all the plants and stuff to grow around your base then you it's time for harvesting which basically you got to go go around well cut them all down and that basically gives you about 50 uh, but like 50 gems at a time and I just call it gem farming I think that's a k pretty catchy name uh, added on to the bonus of two uh, 25 gems from the gem box if you have a chance of getting that so you can get about 50 to 75 <coughs> excuse me about 30 to 30 to maybe 60 gems in one sitting that doesn't seem like a lot but in the long run it will get you a lot of gems but seriously don't spend all your gems in the beginning you don't need to waste money on uh, gems in the future it's a bad idea don't do it alright guys so the last tip uh, is farming uh, if you don't already know what that is uh, farming is basically where you have to you basically want to go for all the resources don't care about trophies you gotta go for all the resources and I know a lot of you are like, what? Farming? No, man, I'm not going to do that. I want trophies, man. No, don't do that. You gotta farm. You gotta farm at some point in Clash of Clans because this is basically for the people who want to build up faster. Because, okay, let me break it down for you. Farming, I don't know if a lot of you who are new to the game and like you've seen bases where people's uh, town halls are outside their base and you're wondering, what is he doing? That's farming. Uh, basically, you're putting your uh, town hall outside your base, so people will go for your town hall, and then just leave, and not go for the resources. Now, the reason why they do that is because once that happens, you get a 12-hour shield, and that'll give your mines and pumps a lot of time to, you know, fill up. And uh, at the early stages, that doesn't really seem like a lot, but later on, it, it uh, you can get about 900,000 out of one. Uh, sitting of stuff. Yeah, the, you could get about 900,000 gold and 900,000 elixir if they're uh, top level. And that's not with the new update with them. That's kind of weird. Uh, anyways, so yeah, it's pretty important later on. I know some of you are like, what? 900,000? Yeah, go add it up. You can get about 100,000 out of one Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I think yeah, 150 out of a top level one. Keep adding that up. You have about six of them. Keep a you have about six mines and six pumps. Keep adding that. Add those up, and you'll get about around 900 or 900,000. Did I say 9,000? 9, I meant 900,000. Um, also, when you farm, you gotta have a really good uh, farming strategy. Now that's important because. It might not, you know, it's probably not going to be very important in the beginning because your troops aren't going to cost a lot. But later on, it's going to matter a lot because if you want to have a really, like, expensive attack strategy, it's going to be about 300,000 to 400,000 uh, elixir. And you don't want to spend that because when you go up, you know, you say you get a good rate, you get 200,000. Well, you, you just lost 100,000 elixir. You didn't gain any, you just lost 100,000 might have gotten gold but you need elixir so you gotta have a good uh, attack strategy for that too my suggestion is have uh, six giants 70 archers uh, 90 goblins and just five wall breakers to be there and that's that's my strategy for my because I'm at a time only and I can only hold up to 200 troops that's what I do for a farming it's pretty effective Remember, don't go for the trophies when you're farming, but you have to do it at some point. It's uh, you have to start around maybe Town Hall Seven because that's like the puberty stage of Clash of Clans. Do it around then. Uh, do it from then and up. I'm a. I think you have to start mostly farming if you want. This is bit. This is basically for those who want to uh, build up fast and get to the higher ranks faster without actually rushing your Town Hall. So if you're wondering why people put their town halls outside their base, that's why. 
Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of stuff. I don't know. That's gonna do it for this video. I, I hope I helped you out with stuff. Uh, remember the three tips. Don't rush your town hall, don't jam your base, and remember to farm. I'll probably come out with other stuff later because I have OCD-ness about other things too. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, uh, please leave a like, or please like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some constructive criticism on what I need to do in the videos, like, I uh, appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in another video. Have a good day.